I actually think we've kept this RV cleaner than any RV we've ever rented. Eli literally just pooped in our bed. There's like actual poop. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's still cleaner. The Cotswolds are a region in England that you may have heard of because they have a ton of very cute idyllic English towns. We visited one the other day because it happened to just be a five minute detour on our way to Stonehenge. But the next two days we are going to explore some of the most popular villages in this region. Basically, we're going to be living in a postcard. Or to be closer to my foot. I'll get one cheek on. Why did you ask us to both sit in one seat? And <laughs> There's then, nowhere else to sit. Then you complain. <laughs> There's nowhere else to sit. I'm a little bit nervous because when we told people that we were going to go to the Cotswolds in the motorhome, they said, if you think the parts of UK that you're driving now are bad, wait to get into the Cotswolds. So we'll see how that goes. Can it get worse? Don't take that. <laughs> than yesterday. <laughs> what happened yesterday? Oh yeah, yeah, the that's right. We had to get out. Call. As soon as we left our campsite yesterday, there was literally a moving truck in the road. And it was one of those things where all of us had to like get out and like teamwork this with strangers. Thank goodness we all speak the same language because oh, I can only imagine if we were like in Italy or France and I'm trying to get through and they're just like probably going to be yelling obscenities at me. But everyone's been really People are so ridiculously nice. overly nice. People, I've accidentally cut off a couple people at roundabouts, and um, I don't think I've gotten the bird flip that I've seen yet. Yeah, that's true. You haven't. Yeah. You've gotten... We camped last night at a 16th century pub called the White Horse. It is one of the many pubs we stayed at on this trip. We had a great dinner, quiet night here. These have been such a easy and nice way to be able to camp as we've been traveling across the UK. RV set up, pub. So we kind of have this whole little enclave to ourselves back here. This is what our mornings have looked like since we got over here. Hello, Ellie. I want to go in your RV. You want to go in my RV? Whose RV is this? Mommy and Papa. Papa. What we eat for breakfast? Eli, can you say French toast? Chef Paget over here. Eli, do you want a bite? Is it hard cooking with two little kids running between your legs? Nah. No. You did that I before. Go. Surprisingly, when there's not a car seat here, this booth is L-shaped. And so we have all been able to sit down yeah. at this booth at the same time and eat a meal. Ellie, what are you doing? We lost a kid. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. By the skin of our teeth, we made it in here to the two last camper van parking spots, which are here at Burton on the Water. But our first stop in the Cotswolds had absolutely no parking that we could find. Look how cute it is. Here's your driving tour of the Cotswolds. That's maybe all we're gonna get in this area. You have no belief in your ability to find parking. I really don't. <laughs> We're here uh, last weekend of August. I was thinking after the bank holiday, it'd be a little less crowded. You're sorely mistaken. But this is one of the places I saw online that I was most excited about visiting. So we're gonna go explore. I got an Uber for an Eli. All right, there you go, Eli. Yeah. Ellie, got your camera? Yeah. Ellie, are you gonna take great pictures today? Yeah. Thank you, Eli. See? Eli, look at me. Uh -oh. Did you watch it? How long did we park for? I did four hours. We pulled up and tried to take a spot. There's a really small, like this size cone in it. So I just moved it out of the way. And this girl comes out and is like, you can't do that. And it turns out you can actually reserve motorhome spots in advance. So if we were really good travelers, we would have done that and not had so much stress today. Which way? Oh, let's go this way. I love the rock fences here. Stonewall, not a rock fence. Yeah, Stonewall sounds way fancier. <laughs> 
Burton on the Water is one of the most popular towns to visit in this region. To some, it's known as the Venice of the Cotswolds, where you can find 18th century stone buildings right in the heart of the village. The shop behind me, you can only go in when the green light is on because the shop capacity is 15 people. While there's a lot of museums and activities you can do in Burton on the Water, we mostly enjoyed walking around the town and blowing bubbles next to the river. Hey. Good job, Mom. All the little bridges are so cute. There's so many of them just going over this little stream. There it goes! I want to do a tea party somewhere. That's all I want to do. Afternoon tea in the Cotswolds sounds. We had a great day exploring the Cotswolds. We're currently staying at another Brit Stop location and the kids are getting out all their energy before bedtime. We ate in the pub tonight. It's 300 years old. There's a nice little playground over here and we have both of our RVs set up over here. Brit Stops have been an amazing way to get to travel around the UK and just go to sleep right here. I'm too fat. I already got her. That's how y'all got here. <laughs> You'll never get me. Alyssa's strategy pre-bedtime is just to wear the kids out. P.E. bet for before bedtime is going to get you tired too. <laughs> I'm going to pass out with the kids. <laughs> this has been an amazing trip across the UK. Is it time to put Jamie's on? No. Nope. I mentally said they can play until 8. It's oh, it's exactly eight. All right, we're done. We're done. And I can feel the sun on my skin. Happy anniversary. Thank you. 43 years. I know. Made it.